Bereshit, Genesis chapter 11. And all the earth had one language and one speech, and it came to be as they set out from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said to each other, Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and they had asphalt for mortar. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens, and make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered over all the face of the earth. Then Yah came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. And Yah said, Look, they are one people, and they all have one language, and this is what they begin to do. And now they are not going to be withheld from doing whatever they plan to do. Come, let us go there and confuse their language so that they do not understand one another's speech. And Yah scattered them from there over the face of all the earth, and they left off building the city. That is why its name was called Babel, because there Yah confused the language of all the earth, and from there Yah scattered them over the face of all the earth. This is the genealogy of Shem. Shem was a hundred years old and brought forth Arpachshad two years after the flood. And after he brought forth Arpachshad, Shem lived 500 years and brought forth sons and daughters, and Arpachshad lived 35 years and brought forth Shelach. And after he brought forth Shelach, Arpachshad lived 403 years and brought forth sons and daughters, and Shelach lived 35 years and brought forth Eber. And after he brought forth Eber, Shelach lived 403 years and brought forth sons and daughters, and Eber lived 34 years and brought forth Peleg. And after he brought forth Peleg, Eber lived 430 years and brought forth sons and daughters. And Peleg lived 30 years and brought forth Reu. And after he brought forth Reu, Peleg lived 209 years and brought forth sons and daughters. And Reu lived 32 years and brought forth Seru. And after he brought forth Seru, Reu lived 207 years and brought forth sons and daughters. And Seru lived 30 years and brought forth Nehor. And after he brought forth Nehor, Serug lived 200 years and brought forth sons and daughters. And Nehor lived 29 years and brought forth Terah. And after he brought forth Terah, Nehor lived 119 years and brought forth sons and daughters. And Terah lived 70 years and brought forth Abram, Nehor, and Haran. And this is the genealogy of Terah. Terah brought forth Abram, Nehor, and Haran. And Haran brought forth Lot. And Haran lived, died before his father Terah in the land of his birth in ur -Kastim. And Abram and Nehor took wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai. And the name of Nehor's wife Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Yiska. And Sarai was barren. She had no child. And Terah took his son Abram. And his grandson Lot, son of Haran, and his daughter-in-law Sarai, his son Abram's wife, and they went out with them from ur Kastim to go to the land of Canaan. And they came to Haran and dwelt there. And the days of Terah came to be 205 years, and Terah died in Haran.